Hi friends! I wanted to do a part two to discovering your true life path because I realized that there's a lot of stuff I left out in the last video. So I wanted to kind of cover it and go more in depth because there are some people who may not know exactly what it is they like doing on their free time because maybe they are so consumed with work that they can't seem to take a moment to think about those things. So there's several questions you can ask, but one important question is, um, what is it that you would be doing if money was no object? So if you sit there for a second and think, okay, so let's say work does not need to happen. You do not need to do your nine to five. If someone paid you, say a hundred thousand a year or more to do whatever you want it to do, what would it be? What hobbies do you do now that maybe you turn it into a full-time thing? I mean, you could say, oh, I wouldn't do anything, but doing nothing does get boring after a while. So if you say, I just want to be a couch potato and watch TV all day, well, if that's all you want to do with your life, then fine. But is that really what you want to do with your life? We all need that day off. Yes, um, we all need a day to relax, go outside, just read a book and have a nothing day, a lazy day. But if everything was paid for and you made the money that you needed, what would you do if someone was offering to pay you everything that you need? So those are something that you can think about. And you can reflect on this in a meditation. So when you're meditating, it's really important to connect to your higher self, your spirit guides, your angels, or God, or source, or whoever you feel most comfortable addressing. Um, ask them for some guidance. It could be through your dreams. It can be through your daily waking life. Or it can be when you're meditating. Ask for images and take note of images that come to you, words, names, um, colors, anything. If you see um, a surfboard, maybe you're meant to either be a surfer, maybe you are meant to teach surfing, live on the beach, do something near the beach. Uh, there's a million clues that are waiting to be found by you and your higher self. Are They're guiding you. Your, your higher self is guiding you. Your angels are guiding you. Everyone's guiding you. You just have to tune in because it is a frequency much like a radio station and you have to discover what it is you're trying to achieve in your life. So if you do feel lost because you're taken back by all the work and family life at home, take a moment and take a day to reflect and ponder and start paying attention to your dreams as well. Start taking note of all the symbolism that comes your way, all the synchronicity that starts flowing your way. If Again, if you're trying to connect and you start seeing things like surfboards on cars and people who look like they're surfers and you have surfer movies coming up on TV. Maybe that is something that is pointing you in your direction for your life calling. Because if there is a will, there is always a way. And so if there is a desire that you seek in life to serve your higher self and higher calling to help others, to bring joy to others, fulfillment to yourself, growth to your soul, then it's really, really important to take that one day and just ponder what it is you're put here to do. This is not something you want to get frustrated with or, um, you know, discouraged with because it's easy to do that too because you could say, well, I want to be a writer. Well, there's no money in writing. There is. You can write books. You can write children's books. You can write so many things, blogs. You can write for a company. But again, you have to take that step forward. You have to start making an effort to make it a reality. Because if you don't, then who's to say you're ever going to get it to that point? Um, you can't just sit there and say, this is what I want to do, and then sit there and wait for it to happen to you. You have to take those first steps to make it happen. And if you don't do that, you never know what may come. You never know if you were supposed to be a great accomplished author, if you were supposed to be a wonderful surfer or um, a singer or, I mean, there, the list is endless and it's not just a nine to five. Of course we need those people who are content and they love their nine to five jobs and they're just happy at, with that. You know, we always need those people to help us and we help them in return. It's a great trade-off. So if you're content where you are and you truly are happy and you feel like, hey, I'm happy where I'm at. I don't need any advancement. I don't need to change. I am so content, so happy, so at peace with everything. Then maybe you don't need to change. Maybe you're exactly where you're supposed to be. 
maybe in 10 years you'll want to change and that's fine too because we're constantly evolving we're constantly changing that's part of our soul's growth uh, if you want to be a teacher, find out how you can become a teacher. Maybe you start with substitute teaching. Maybe you start with weekend classes somewhere at a YMCA or anywhere. There's so many places to make your dreams come true. And it doesn't require expensive schooling. It doesn't require expensive classes or tutoring or anything like that. Start making steps towards your goals now. And in five years, you might be exactly where you always wished you would be. So you have to believe in yourself and you have to trust the universe. I know I might sound like I'm repeating myself a little bit from the last video, but it's so important. And I see so many people walking around in a zombie-like state and they look so depressed and they're so unhappy. And when you talk to them, they're just, they're bored. They're tired of their life. They're, they're, they feel like they don't have much to do. They're just, you know, nine to five every day, but they don't realize that the, it's like the saying, when you do what you love, it's like you never work a day in your life. And that is so true, because I've done it twice in my life. Um, I worked in film at one time, and I always wanted to work at film. I worked behind the scenes. I was doing production design, prop making, and all these cool things, working with movie stars. And that was really, really fun. But I got to a point where I got tired of it, and it kind of wore itself out. And after a year of being pretty miserable and unhappy and even when the pay was really good I was just not feeling it anymore my heart wasn't in it anymore I said I need to leave this is not my calling anymore I, I feel like there's something more for me and not being behind the camera not just you know watching all these other magical makings um, of movie magic <laughs> but I felt like there was something more I wanted to inspire people I want to teach people and I felt like I couldn't really do it sitting behind the camera. So now I started stepping out into my new business and when I did that I was able to grow that courage and evolve and I spent like two years working on myself and changing and becoming a better me, a healthier me, a happier me. Uh, so I mean you can do it too and it's not gonna happen overnight and please don't let that discourage you if you want to be someone go do it do it do it do it you have to believe in yourself and if others tell you you can't do it then maybe use that as a little bit of fuel to get you to do it to show them look I can do it and you will find that true happiness that you've always searched for your whole life you will find so much more peace within and again, it'll feel like you're never working because you love what you do. So even if you weren't working on the weekends, you're probably going to keep going because it's something that you like doing. So please follow your heart. Listen to your spirit guides and angels, your visions, your um, dreams. Pay attention to everything because everything is always guiding you. Whatever you are doing now, it's if it's not something that's making you happy, then there is something better for you. In, in, the, in this plan, in this great universe, there is something that is much more magical. And it's meant to make you happy, evolve, and make others happy. So I hope you like this video. Um, uh, next week I'm going to have another video, so please tune in then. And I love you all. Mwah. See you then. Uh, blessed be and have a wonderful, magical week.